Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can heat treat your hand tools for maximum durability. Using the method outlined in this video, this can also be used for center punches, twist drills, knives, reamers, and other tools as well. The heat treatment process is two steps. The first one is to harden the steel, and the second one is to temper the steel. Now when you harden the steel, what happens, the steel becomes extremely, extremely hard, but it also becomes very brittle. Now in the case of the screwdriver tip, this could have broken off due to excessive torque, or the tool was not correctly heat treated, resulting in the steel being much more brittle than it should have been. So what we want to do is ensure that the tools have the right temper placed on them so that the edge is very strong, but not brittle, and all these edges here on the scraper and the chisel, you want them to be very hard as well. And you also want that edge to retain the nice sharp edge that you're going to create using a mill file or whetstone. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the supplies that you're going to need to get this job done. After I do that, I'm going to demonstrate using two or three of these tools that you see right here. Okay, you're going to need cold water to quench the steel. Some people like to use motor oil, but I prefer cold water. You're going to need a propane torch, a mill file, grinding stone or sharpening stone, a small piece of 220 grit abrasive paper, and a strong magnet. In this case, I stuck a neodymium magnet on each end to make it even stronger. And what we're going to use that for, after I redress the tip of the screwdriver, I'm going to be filing this and grinding this into the new shape so it's not busted off. When you heat this to harden it, you want to make sure that it's glowing red hot, really, really bright. And when you do that, what's going to happen, when you have it at the right temperature, the steel is no longer going to be magnetic. So if you want to make sure you're at the right temperature for hardening, what you're going to do is once it's glowing red hot, touch this, make sure it does not stick or have any attraction to the steel. Once it has no attraction to the steel, you're going to take the screwdriver and quickly dip it into the cold water to quench it. Once that step's complete, I'm going to show you the tempering process next. The first thing I'm going to do is take my mill file. I'm going to clean up the end of the screwdriver. And I'm also going to bring it over to my bench grinder. And using the grinding stone, I'm going to put a nice new edge on the screwdriver. And the reason why I want to do that now is because once this is hardened, after the first step, it's going to be extremely hard. And when you take the file, it's going to want to skate right off of the screwdriver. So it's a good idea to do this first. Or you could also wait till after the tempering process to dress it up. But what I'm going to do now is clean this tip up, come right back, and go on to the next step. Using the bench grinder and the file, you can see the tip of the screwdriver is nice again. No longer snapped off. Now if you have a screwdriver that only the tip got damaged, just a little bit, maybe like a little chip on it, you don't have to heat treat the tool all over again. But what you can do is you can place this against the bench grinder and very carefully make the edge nice and straight again. You do not want to push this against the grinding wheel long enough to make it become hot. If you do that, you're going to damage the temper of the blade of the screwdriver. So the best way to do it, you're going to take the screwdriver tip, place it against the grinding wheel for no more than two seconds, take the tip, quench it in room temperature water, then you're going to repeat the process again until the tip is nice and straight. And by doing that, you're not going to damage the temper of the screwdriver tip. Now I'm going to turn on the propane torch. We're going to heat up this much of the end of the screwdriver. You can see some color changes. Those colors are going to be very important when I go to temper the tool after we harden it.
It's going to take a while. It's a large screwdriver. And I'm working in the light, so it may not be as visible when it starts to glow. Okay, let me take the magnet, make sure it's no longer magnetic. Nothing, all right. Nothing up top, let's heat it up again. And then I'm going to quench it in the cold water. I'll grab the water, hopefully you can see it. Okay, that's it. Now that this is cool, the next thing you want to do is you want to take the 220 abrasive paper and you want to clean up the blade of the screwdriver to make sure all this carbon and discoloration has been removed because when we go to temper it, we have to observe the oxidation that occurs on the surface of the metal because that's what's going to determine the temperature at which we're going to dunk this into the water once again. So let me clean this, come right back, and go on to the next step. Okay, as you can see, the screwdriver is now cleaned up, nice and shiny. When you saw me heating up the blade to harden the steel, you saw all the different color changes that occurred on the blade. Now those color changes indicate approximately what the temperature is of the steel. If you happen to have a tool that does not have a plastic handle, such as this chisel, if you know you want the temperature to be around 500 degrees Fahrenheit, you can even place this in your oven, little toaster oven, for about 20 minutes. Take it out with a pair of pliers and then drop the whole thing into cool water. In this case, we're just going to reheat it again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flame in this area. I'm not going to place it near the tip and I'm going to hold it further away because I want to gradually heat this up and as it's heating, you're going to see it start off as a very light straw color. And then it's going to go through all the different colors. When you see it get past purple into a dark blue color, when that reaches the tip, that dark blue, that's exactly when I'm going to pull it away from the flame and put it in the water to quench it. That same dark blue color would be used for springs. And it's a very high temperature, probably around 550 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Just a little cooler than that, probably around 500 degrees. It would be a purple color. You would use that to temper cold chisels and punches. If you had a twist drill, you wanted to temper the tip of that, you would use a light orange color. If it was a reamer, it would be a dark yellow. And all your knives with the cutting edges would be a very low temperature, 3 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And all you're going to see is a light straw color before you quench it in the water. Okay, let's finish off the screwdriver by tempering the tip. The water is right down here, out of the way. Gradual process. You don't want to heat it up red hot again. I see some colors starting now. Right there. See the straw? Right there it looks like straw. There you go. Right there it's got that yellowish color. Oh, you see the purple? So I want to go a little further away. I want that to move towards the tip. Once that moves towards the tip, see the blue? See the blue? And right there. Okay, you can see that dark blue, that's after I quenched it, right there, that's the temperature you want for the screwdriver tip, after it's been sanded again. Now let me show you the same thing using the gasket scraper. The edge is extremely dull, I couldn't cut my finger on this if I tried. So what I'm going to do, put this on the grinder, file it, 
Come back and then we're going to heat treat it and take a look at the finished product. Okay, the edge of the blade is all sharp again. Now let's harden the whole end. See the end is getting that purple because it's very thin, so it's heating very quickly. That's why you always want to heat away from the cutting edge because it's so thin. You want to start further in when you temper and let the heat move to the edge. And you see the straw color? Then it goes to the orange, purple, blue. Those are the colors you want to remember for tempering. Right there, some good coloring. Straw, you see all the different shades. This will start glowing in a minute. Go like this. Okay, that looks pretty good right there to quench. Here we go. All right, so that's pretty good on that one. Okay, this is all cleaned off. Let's temper it. All right, keep an eye on the color. Remember, I want to have that purplish blue travel to the end. I want to keep all the heat away from the tip and let it just travel down the line. You'll see it. See the straw starting right there? All right. See the straw color? Just don't go near the tip. We'll see the blue, and then we'll let the blue move down. See the tip is blue? And that is it. You don't want to go hotter than that dark blue. Clean this with sandpaper, then I can take the tip if I want, go over a nice grinding stone, and this one's done. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.